Welcome to another episode of Studley Grange TV. There is so much to do here, of course, Butterfly World and another great feature, of course, the meerkats. But here at Studley Grange, we've got the real thing. So Jackie, we've been here before with the, uh, these lovely meerkats, so adorable. There seem to be a few more than last time. Yes, we're really lucky this summer. The female, our alpha female Louise, she is programmed to have her pups when she believes they have the strongest survival rate. So she always has her pups in the summer. The weather's good, there's lots of food around. So at the beginning of the summer, we had three lovely pups born. And then about four weeks ago, we had another four born. Oh my goodness. So she's been busy this summer, and they're all doing really, really well. And I can see them down there, the really, yes. really little ones. Really tiny ones. They're very, very cute. Have you given them names? Uh, we haven't named them yet. We think the three older ones are girls, so now we right. know they're girls, we're going to name them. And when we've worked out what the other ones are, we can give those names as well. All the visitors can help us <laughs> choose anyway. Well, let's go and sit back down over there, because that was the fun, fun part yeah. uh, last time, crawling all over us. And uh, so, the, so the, the babies, do they take a lot of uh, time to adapt to the environment and to adults? Well, when they're, they're first born, they don't have any hair and their eyes are closed. And mum keeps them very secure in the sleeping area. <laughs> and when they're about three and a half weeks old, she then decides to bring them out and show them to us. And by that stage, they're, they're pretty well adapted. And the thing with the meerkats is they're a very strong family group and they are so good at looking after their young. So they're all really, really well cared for. And these little ones here are just trying to see if they can steal all the best food, which is the mealworms. And that's why they've come to sit out here and do that. Well, uh, yes, I should mention why I've got my trousers tucked into my socks, because they do tend to crawl up trouser legs if you're not careful. They will. And the thing is, although they're gorgeous and they're very cute looking, there are wild animals. And they have got very sharp claws, very sharp teeth. So you don't want them going up your trouser leg. And also, that's why we don't handle them. We don't want to stress them out. We don't really want our to be bitten either. And so lovely as they are, they are not pets. They're not domesticated, they're wild animals that you need to respect, really. But people, of course, we've got a lovely crowd here mm. watching. They are so much of a focus here oh, at Stubby Grange, they're, aren't they? They're great fun to watch and they're such characters. They're always up to something <laughs> that you can watch and enjoy, definitely. It is that naturally inquisitive nature they have, isn't it? Oh, very much so. Anything flies over or anything's new near the pen, that they're there to have a look at it, yes. Very much so, but of course if they can get hold of it, they will put it into their mouths. That's the thing you've got to be careful of. <laughs> so what's going to happen to the babies that you've got? Right, uh, if the three that are three months old, we're pretty sure are female. And uh, because there isn't enough room in this pen here to have two separate gangs, they will be rehomed somewhere appropriate, somewhere another to zoo that has the right conditions for them. And then the other four that were born sort of four and a half weeks ago, when we've worked out what sex they are, uh, if they're boys, they'll stay with us and our, our family will just get bigger, which will be lovely. <laughs> and uh, yes, I'm getting them all. This, this is the one I was waiting for, to, yeah. to come and to discover me. And that is the money shot, isn't it? When they, when they yes. look up like that. See, that... they know you don't normally come in here, so they've just given you a full inspection. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm very comfortable yeah. with this. It's OK. It's, it's lovely. And I'm actually a little bit more used to them now. Yes. Now, people always ask, what do they eat? What's their natural food? Uh, naturally, they would eat things what we call sort of bugs and grubs. So you're looking at millipedes, centipedes, uh, mealworms, scorpions, that sort of thing. And we feed them that. We also feed them chicks. And uh, we do give them some fruit as fed just to make sure they've got a very healthy diet. Jackie, thank you very much indeed. And I really love coming in here. It's such a real treat. Thank you. And you can track the progress of all the meerkats on the website. And as always, we'll be back here very soon on Slutty Grange TV. Bye for now.